So you're probably clicking on this video because you are looking to purchase a door draft stopper. This one I got from Amazon. This is the product right here and the link is going to be down in the description for you to check it out. We're going to be checking out to see how well this product works. I've got a basement suite uh, that we rent out and we want to block out as much noise as possible from the side entrance door. So we're going to be testing it out on vinyl plank flooring and we're also going to test it on some carpet to see, let's say if you have a home office and you don't want people to be hearing the conversations you're having or the other way around, we're going to be testing it on these surfaces and see how effective this is. So without further ado, let's review it. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like after you assembled it. Now, initially, this was actually a little bit longer than the door itself. As you can see, there's about two to three inches on the end there. So what I ended up doing is I just ended up chopping off a little bit of foam, which resulted in, like I said, a couple of inches, give or take, uh, from the end there so that it is roughly the exact length of the door. So here we go. Test number one. This is on vinyl plank flooring. Let's see how the sound is with the door shut. So this is at the, just at the bottom of the stairs here. You can probably hear me quite well. Doesn't really do the best job this door at insulating some noise. Um, so this is my voice here. This is normal pitch. I'm not yelling or anything like that. Just talking rather normally. This is what you're hearing right now. Okay, now let's put the door draft stopper and let's see if this works. Okay, so the camera position hasn't moved. Let's go and see if the noise has been canceled. That's the objective at least. Okay. How did that sound? Stairs here, you can probably hear me quite well. Doesn't really, as soon as I shut the door, again, just talking rather normally. Okay, let's change up the angle here. So the mic is still mounted onto the camera. We're quite a bit closer to the door. Let's see if you can see, a, notice a sound difference. So we got the door stopper on right now. Let's check it out. Okay, so that's the test with the door stopper. Door stopper out. Let's see what I sound like now. And back to the first step here. Um, I do also notice a little bit more of an echo, um, but in theory, I should be a little bit louder. What do you guys think? How did that sound? So hopefully we got a little bit of an idea of how much noise was cut out there. It seems like it did help out a little bit with reducing the amount of noise that you could hear through the door. I will say, however, the biggest hindrance at this point is mostly coming from the edges of the door frame itself and not so much the bottom, which you can also buy other products to try and seal off some noise too. So that might be the next step for me to really try and soundproof it to the best of my abilities. But now we've done that on vinyl plank. What's it's gonna sound like on carpet? Let's go try that right now. This is what I sound like without the door closed. This is with the door closed. It, you probably don't hear as much noise as you did on the vinyl plank because the carpet is a little bit higher too. And it probably just brushes the base of the door. How did that sound? Did you hear me quite a bit? Well, now let's put the door draft stopper and see how that sounds. Again, camera has not changed locations. And what about now? Can you hear me at all? I am in the exact same spot that I was at before and I'm speaking about the exact same. No difference in the pitch of my voice. 
Is it effective? I feel like the basement on the vinyl plank was probably a little bit more effective than the carpet. All right, guys, I hope this review was helpful and you got the answers that you were looking for. Consider subscribing. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.